Okay, my heroes, today's lesson is the ninth lesson in chapter 4, problem solving, division. What we're going to do today, we will solve life problems like this question. And to start, I need you to open your books page. What page is this? 106. 206. Yes, thank you, my heroes. Go ahead, everyone. Open your books, page 206. I will write a question here. If you have the answer, just raise your hand. Muhammad? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Six. Okay, can you explain why? Because nine multiply six equal fifty-four. Yes, thank you, Muhammad. Great work. So fifty-four divided by nine equals six because nine times six equals fifty-four. Okay, now let's see this example on this page. We have an example here. And for this example, I will use this page. Newton buys a box of flower vases. The box has two rows with four vases in each row. The box costs $48. How much does each vase cost? To solve a question like this, we need first to understand the question. Understand the problem means what you, you should determine what you know and what you need to find. Let's start with what do you know. Okay, we know that the box has how many rows of vases? Two rows of vases. And each row has how many vases? Four. Great. And we know also the box costs how many dollars? Six. No. Forty-eight. Yes, great work, Faris. So, as you see here, my heroes, we have the box has two rows with four vases in each row, and the box costs forty-eight dollars. So that's what you know. Now, let's see what you need to find. What do you need to find? You need to find how much each what costs the price of each what, the cost of each what. Chaza. The 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 cost of each vase. So now we understand the problem. We know what we have and what we need to find. Now let's do the second step. Let's make a plan to solve the Teacher, problem. What the 206. Okay, as you know, we have two rows with four vases in each row. 
and the total price of the box is 48 so we need to find first the total number of vases to do so we will multiply 2 by Excellent, Aisa. Okay, then, okay, we will multiply two by four to find how many vases are in the box in all, all the all vases, how many vases? Eight. Yes, but we will do this in the next step. Okay, then we will divide what number by the product? Forty-eight. Excellent. We will divide the total price, the total cost, by the product. Okay, now let's do the solution. Let's solve it. But before I start solving, is there anyone writing? Yes. Okay, quickly, Muhammad. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes. I... I said 48. Yes, Karim, that's 48, right. Not here. We will divide 48 by the product. That's right. Okay, Mohammed, did you finish writing? No, just the small. <laughs> okay. Finish. Okay, is there anyone writing? Yes, me, Muhammad Wain. Okay, quickly, Muhammad. I'm finished now. Okay, now let's start solving. As we said, we, we will finish. Quickly, Yusuf. We will multiply 2 by 4. What is 2 multiplied by 4? Excellent. Eight. Eight. And then we will divide 48 by the product, which is 8. What is 48 eight. divided eight. by 8? Eight. 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 Excellent, my eight. heroes. Eight. Okay, Yusuf, eight. did you finish writing? Yes. Yes. Now, let's start solving. We said that we can multiply 2 by 4 using any of the known methods. Of course, we know that 2 multiplied eight. by 4 equals 8. So, the total number of vases in the box is 8. Now, we divide the total price, the total cost, by 8. So, we divide 48 by 8. And now, what the is the... Six. Yes, what is the question? Excellent. So, six. the answer is... Each vase costs how many dollars? Six. Six dollars. Okay, my heroes. Write the answer quickly. Finish. Great. Okay, now let's move back to the book. And here we have this question, question number one. Ibrahim. Yes, teacher. Would you please read the question? This card decards decards buys three packs of colored red pencils and a pack pack. He spends thirty three dollars. Pack pack costs twelve dollars. Each 
pack of colored pencils cost the same amount? How much is each pack of colored pencils? Now, let's see what do you know? You know that? You buy? Three packs. Three packs of colored pencils and a backpack. And you know also that Dickert spends $33. So this is the total cost. And you know also the, the cost of the backpack. It's $12. Now, what do you need to find? Of course, you know you know that each pack pack, uh, sorry, each pack of uh, of pencils cost the same amount, the same price. Yes. Okay. What do you need to find? How much is each of colored pencils? So we need to find the cost of each pack. Of pencils so we have three packs of pencils and a backpack okay do you know do you know the backpack that you use for the school yes I have one okay so the price the total cost of these all is $33 And you know the, the price or the cost of the backpack. This one alone costs $12. This one costs $12. $12. And we need to find the cost of each one of the three, uh, the, the three packs of pencils. Four. Let's make a plan for this. Plan. Okay, so you know the total price, the total cost, 33. And you know the cost of the backpack. So what is the cost of the three packs of pencils? Twenty-one. Yes, exactly. So you can get this twenty-one by subtracting thirty-three minus twelve. So the first step is subtracting the total price thirty-three minus the price of the backpack twelve. And in this case, we will find the price or the cost. Let's write it cost. Cost of, uh, I have here E, I should erase it. The cost of three packs of, of pencils. Cost of three pack pen then, packs pencils. Then, if the, if the cost of the, free, the three packs, you have the cost of the three packs, which is 21. Now, what is the cost of one pack? Cost of one pack. Okay, let's do the first step. So, the solution here, we divide, uh, sorry, we subtract 33 minus 12. 33 minus 12 equals... 21. The $21 here is the cost of the three packs. Now, what is the cost of one pack? Cost of one pack? Cost of one pack? So, these three 21. costs $21. Cost of one pack? 
The the cost of the three packs is twenty one. Now we need to find the cost of each one of the uh, of the packs, the packs of colors, each one of them. Each one of them. Okay, they have uh, each of them have the seven. same. Each yes, of exactly. Them has seven. How can you get the seven? Because. 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals yes. 21. Okay, can you use 21 and 3 in a division equation? Yes, 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So this 7 is the cost of one pack. So the answer is $7 for each one pack of colored pencils. Thank you, Ibrahim. Great work. You're welcome. Okay, my heroes, is there any writing or drawing? Okay, I'll raise it. Yes, teacher. Yes, you're writing, Muhammad. This way. Are this you name? writing? Yeah. Okay, quickly, my hero. It's me, Muhammad Ahwal. Okay, quickly, Muhammad, finish writing quickly. Okay, I don't know. I feel it turn out. Okay, can I raise it now? Okay, guys. Quickly, my hero. Okay, can I raise it now, guys? And now let's move to this question, page 208. Page 208. And for this question, I'll use this page. Just give me a second. Okay. You have two boxes of cranes. One box has 24 cranes. The other box has 48 cranes. Eighteen of the cranes are broken. You put the cranes that are not broken into six equal groups. How many cranes are in each group? Wow! We need to take it step by step. What do we know? What do you know? You know that you have one box with 24 cranes. Sir, you said my name. You and have... one box with 48 cranes. So, uh, okay, let's draw a picture, uh, a model here. You know that... You said my name, Yusuf. Yusuf, you cannot ask this question. So, you have two boxes, one of them with 24 cranes, and the other with 48 cranes. What else do you know? Help me, my heroes, what else do you know? Division! No, Eight what else do you know? Yes, it's broken. Excellent. How many Seven how many broken cranes? How many broken cranes? Six. No. Ten. Eighteen. 
Excellent. So you know that eating crayons are broken. And now uh, I will, I need to erase this so you can see it. You know also the unbroken crayons are put into six equal groups. So now we understand the question. Let's make a plan. Uh, uh, make a plan to find how many crayons in each group. What do you think we should do first? We need to find the total number of crayons, right? We have 24 crayons and 48 crayons in the other box. So we need to find the total number of crayons. Then what should we do? You have 18 crayons that are broken, broken crayons. We need to remove them because you, you will put the unbroken crayons into six equal groups. So how to find the number of the unbroken crayons? Help me my heroes. Minus 18. Excellent, Nine my hero. Great work. So, we will subtract the number of broken crayons. Now, we have the unbroken crayons. We need to put them into six equal groups. How to put them in six equal groups? Division. Wow, Karim, you are a star. We will divide that number by... Thank you. Six. Okay, now let's start solving. As we said before, we need to find the total number of crayons. So, let's add 24 in the first box and 48 in the second box. What is the total, my heroes? 72. Wow, again, Karim. Wow, you're a star fair, really. Okay, 4 plus 8 equals 12. We write down the 2 and regroup the 1 to the tens. 1 plus 2 plus 4. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So, the total number of crayons is 72. Now, remember the second step. Subtract the number of the broken crayons. So, we will subtract 18. So, 72 minus 18. What is 72 minus 18? Help me, my heroes. Muhammad Sabiri, Muhammad Hani. 54. 54. As teacher, 24. Okay, let's do it together. What is 2 minus 8? 2 minus 8 equals 6. No. 2 minus 8? Yeah. Regroup. So, yes, exactly. We need to regroup. So, the 7 will be... Six, six and the six. two will be twelve. Twelve now twelve, 12 minus eight. Five. Excellent. And six minus one. Five. So Five. it's fifty-four. Now these fifty-four are the unbroken cranes. We need to divide them into six equal groups. So let's divide 54 
by 6. What is 54 divided by 6? Muhammad Fad, where are you? Yes. What is 54 divided by 6? Yes. Yes, what? What is 54 divided by 6? 9. Excellent. So, the answer to the question, Muhammad Wa'il, is? 9. Yes, there are nine crayons in each Wa group. I know, I'm asking you, Muhammad Wa'il, and you didn't answer. <laughs> so, Muhammad yeah. Wa'il, we have nine crayons in each group. Okay, my heroes, any problems? No. Okay, please finish writing quickly and I'll send to you the link of the game.